Thank you, Simon. I hope you've uh, read the instructions on the outside. What we'd like you to do is, I'm going to briefly give you a scenario and the scenario is also there on the table for you. What I want you to do is consider the scenario and then you've got four options of actions you could take. With those actions, you could decide it's either a very appropriate thing to do, an appropriate thing to do, not a very appropriate thing or a very inappropriate thing to do. And you can use those options more than once for, for each um, item if you, if you want. And if you can just chat around sort of your reasoning, so almost think aloud for me so I can understand uh, why you've come to that conclusion. So the scenario is, imagine you're now a medical student on a GP placement and you're seeing a patient. During the consultation, the patient complains the GP, the, their own GP, always smells of cigarette smoke. And they object to this, particularly uh, for two reasons. They think the doctor is setting a bad example and also they find it very grating as they've recently given up smoking themselves. Okay, so the, the following, the options are to tell the patient they should uh, approach the GP themselves and tell them how they feel. Tell the GP yourself what the patient has said. Tell the patient uh, what the GP does is actually none of their business or just subtly leave a note about stopping smoking on the GP's desk. Do you okay. want to have a think and discuss through for me? Okay, so the first option, tell the GP yourself what the patient has said. I think yeah. that's probably a very appropriate thing to do because it puts the, the consensus off the patient feeling uncomfortable in that situation. And it's kind of you as the med medical student should have a kind of relationship with the GP where you feel that you can approach them about anything. So by telling the GP yourself, you've, um, it's obviously an issue with the patients and it may be an issue with more than one patient. It may not be just this one patient who finds this an issue. Okay. So by you taking taking the lead and telling the GP yourself, it's kind of helping maybe not just this one patient, but other patients who see the GP as well. Great. Okay, okay. so tell the patient that the GP does isn't none of their business. I think that's a very inappropriate thing to do. I think uh, what's integral part of a doctor-patient relationship is that it should be an open relationship and that, yeah, the patient should be able to discuss openly with what the GP, like, what their problems are. And if they have an issue with their, with their doctor about anything, um, with how they act or how they treat them, then that should be, the patient should feel comfortable in telling the GP that. Right, so okay. I don't think that's a, so do you think that is not very appropriate or very inappropriate? Um, probably, if you've had to stand between it, maybe not a very appropriate, not very inappropriate, not a very Okay, yep, so, good, thank um, you. And then the third example, tell the patient that they should be at the themselves and tell the GP. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I think that's, again, not, not a very appropriate thing to tell the patient they should. Oh, no. So I think, yeah, I think the patient should be able to approach their GP. It's so similar yeah. to the one above that, um, that there yeah. should be an open relationship with the yeah. patient. So, so I suppose the, those two first options are either tell the patient that they should appropriate, they should tell the GP themselves or you tell the GP on their behalf, as it were. Yeah. So you've sort of covered the, yes, it's good for the yeah. patient to go themselves. How about you being their advocate and telling them on on the patient's behalf, what do you think about that? Um, so you sort of take the information the patient's uh, given you, and yeah. you go and say the patient's told me. Yeah, this. that may be that may have <coughs> kind of given negative impact that um, that you kind of snitch maybe a bit of yeah. snitching on the on the patient a, a touch, um, and it doesn't really give the patient when you're giving secondhand information. You're not really giving the patient. Uh, you may not give the patient's full view yes. and they can't um, fully justify why they're saying this. So okay. maybe it's... Um, so if you had to decide on one of the options, what would you better? say? I think it depends on the patient. I think if, yeah. if the patient is confident in going forward and telling the GP themselves, then maybe that's the better option to go for. But if the patient's got this, this problem and they're kind of a bit nervous about doing it themselves, then maybe it's better for you to say, offer to the patient that, if you wish me to tell the GP 
um, then maybe that will be a better better option okay for you. so you think it's a bit patient dependent yeah definitely a patient yeah. dependent response okay. to which you so we've got one final option to think about which is leave a leaflet about stopping smoking on the gp's desk um yeah i, <laughs> I don't think that's a very appropriate i think that's a very inappropriate thing to do i think okay. um yes um it may be a, maybe in some people's view an inappropriate thing for a doctor to smoke um but i feel that if if I was in the, if I was being put in the GP situation, and someone has just left me and stopped speaking, then I, I think how I, how it, how would that make me feel? And I think that would make me feel a bit who's obviously um, I'd want to know who has that problem with me uh, with that, that as a problem and you know kind of come to me rather than just going behind my back and kind of doing that. And also I'd like to feel that people I give a persona that um, people would want you know be able to come up to me whatever and talk yeah. to me rather than you know feeling too afraid or concerned about not leaving uh, and about leaving a leaflet rather than telling me to my face okay so you think that's a very inappropriate yeah. thing to do is what you said lovely have you got anything else you'd like to add about any of the options um, i'm quite happy no i'm quite Thanks happy. Yeah. great thank you